Welcome back to Arsenal News TV and today we're going to look at Arsenal's four right-back transfer options with the Gunners keen to sell Hector Bellerin. Arsenal could be on the lookout for a replacement for Hector Bellerin this summer. Arsenal are reportedly looking to sell Hector Bellerin this summer and will be eyeing an instant replacement should that come to fruition. The Spaniard's 10-year stint with the Gunners could end in the coming months after losing his place in Mikel Arteta's plans. According to Fabrizio Romano, Arsenal wants to offload Hector Bellerin permanently this summer rather than loaning him out. The reputable journalist claims negotiations between Inter Milan and Arsenal aren't advanced but has reaffirmed the Gunners' stance over a sale. With Hector Bellerin likely to be leaving the Emirates Stadium this summer, Miklos Setzer will undoubtedly be eyeing a replacement in the same transfer window. Even if the 26-year-old stays in North London, it's clear that Arsenal manager wants a different player as his starting right back. So it looks like Miklos Setzer is ready to sell Hector Bellerin in the summer transfer window and there were talks suggesting that Hector Bellerin wanted to leave last summer but it was Miklos Setzer that persuaded him to stay for one last season and it looks very likely that he will be looking to leave this summer. So it looks like Miklos Setzer will be looking in the summer transfer window for a suitable right back and Miklos Setzer has plenty of options in the right back area so we're going to look at a number of options for in particular Miklos Setzer could sign this summer. So the first person on the list is Denzel Dumfries and Denzel Dumfries has been linked with the PSV Eindhoven departure this summer after a starring role at Euro 2020. The 25-year-old thrilled viewers with his attacking mentality and goal-scoring prowess while representing the Netherlands. Also linked with Everton, Dumfries' quality at both ends of the pitch should make him a priority target. So Miklos Sessa will have a lot of competition to sign Denzel Dumfries in this summer transfer window because there are a lot of clubs even in the Premier League such as Everton that are looking to find a suitable right back position and when it comes to Denzel Dumfries' quality up front is something that should be looked at by Miklos Sessa as he has the ability to go from defence and he has the physicality as a mentality to go from attack to defence and to go from defence to attack very quickly. He's someone that is very good at both positions. He can operate in the wing back role as well and that's something that he was playing in Netherlands during the Euro 2020 and he was very a much of strong force in that position because he was very attacking, he was very dominant on the ball, he was very effective on the ball and he was very useful for Netherlands' chances on the field because they were very good at scoring goals due to his ability to go forward, to really create chances, to really come in and be that last man in the attack and really help a lot. So the next person on the li list is Emerson Royal and Emerson joined Barcelona in 2019 but has spent the last two seasons and thrived and La Liga rivals Real Betis. Also had been previously linked with a 22-year-old and Barcelona would uh, reportedly accept a fee of around £20 million. With the Catalan club in desperate need to sell players this summer, also should pounce and secure an excellent long-term option in Emerson. And Emerson is someone that looks very likely to be that right back that Barcelona needed in the summer transfer window after he had a very good campaign with Real Betis as he helped them reach European qualification. But it looks like Barcelona will need to sell a number of players to even bring in their new signings because the likes of Sergio Aguero, the likes of other players that they're bought in such as Eric Garcia, Memphis Depay, to just to name a few aren't even registered in the squad at the moment because they'll have to sell a few players to even put these players into the squad. And Emerson Royal looks like someone that will be needed to be sold by Barcelona if they want to have other players have the opportunity to really reduce their financial difficulties and Emerson Roy could be a good bargain for Miklos Setsa if he's looking for someone that can operate in that long-term role for Hector Bellerin, come at a very young age, being only 22 years old and be a dominant force. So the next person on the list is Max Sarens and remarkably, Max Sarens hasn't yet been snapped up already after a string of brilliant campaigns at Norwich City. After helping the Canaries to a Premier League return, this summer could be one where he finally departs. It would likely require a larger sum than the other names on this list, but the 21-year-old Englishman would be worth every penny. Norwich won't want to lose another star man without time to replace him though, 
so suitors should act first. So it looks like Max Sirens is a very good option for McClough. Such as someone that is very young, being only 21 years old. So he's someone that will have bags of energy in every single match. He will have the physicality to last long periods. And he will be someone that could be constantly bombing forward in that attacking role from the right back position. And Max Sirens could be a player that McClough says that will need. As he is someone that is very good on the ball. He's someone that is very good at putting in crosses. He's someone that is very useful in terms of his attacking prowess. But McClough says that Arsenal could be flattered by the price that Norwich City will be asking for. And even though they have a £250 million spending spree, will Arsenal be able to splash the cash on a youngster? Will they be able to even play him as a regular starter for McClough as his first team but he is someone that does tick every single box but apart from the price so we'll have to wait and see. So the final person on the list is Zeki Cilic and Zeki Cilic reportedly available for just £13 million this summer it should be a no-brainer that Arsenal go for him. The 24-year-old had a Euro 2020 campaign to forget with Turkey but enjoyed a phenomenal 2020-2021 season with Lille. After he helped his club to the league earth title, Arsenal should follow up their reported interest and potentially secure one of the bargains of the summer. But Seki Cilic is someone that will need to adapt to the Premier League as we have seen with the number of players that come from other leagues such as the French, the Spanish, the Italian, the German leagues, those top four leagues with the Premier League being another league, those players really do struggle to come from those types of countries to come to the Premier League. We already have a certain number of players that come from Lille, such as Nicola Pepe. He comes, he did struggle on this first full campaign. He's even struggled on the second full campaign with Arsenal. So hopefully, even though it will be £13 million with Lille's financial difficulties and a lot of French clubs' financial difficulties, it could be a transfer where it could be a bargain for Mikel Arteta. So it could be a transfer where Arsenal do regret it later in the future, given the fact that we have seen other players that we have bought on a cheap, such as even Licksteiner, and they have even struggled heavily even and didn't meet the price tag at all and caused more problems. So we'll have to wait and see how Arsenal will use the summer transfer window in the end. Make sure you check out the FA Cup post these a special link I've put below in the description and smash that like button to see if you can reach 30 likes. Also subscribe for more daily videos and share the video with your Arsenal friends and family. Click one of the latest videos on the screen and I'll see you there.